Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I will do a updated review on FRA. It is back on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. So I will show you what was improved in this tool and I will share my thoughts. Is it still worth getting? Because seven months ago I did review and tutorial videos on this tool and let's see what has changed since then. Well, just a recap, what is FRI? It is your research assistant and straight away I see they changed their positioning. So from the beginning, they positioned themselves as a research tool, not just an AI helper tool that talks to your document. However, now they straight away show themselves as competitors to other research tools. I see they improved the user interface, made that research centric. And basically now they provide several different main features. FRI reference manager, so you can organize your reference materials. There is FRI notebook where you can work on a particular research paper, take some notes. There is a helper tool that will help you to generate citations in a format that you need. So they put a heavy focus on a research site. For example, if we open citationstyles.org, which is referenced from FRI, we can see it is a open source citation style language, which should be popular among researchers. So if you're a researcher, you work as a researcher, I don't know, maybe your hobby is a research or you study. So FRI will make your life easier. We can see you can annotate your files. You can collaborate on your papers with your peers. Another interesting feature that you can import your research papers using different formats. For example, DOI. And what is DOI? It is a format to reference a particular paper, which is popular among researchers. I'll show you an example how you can use that later. And of course, you can talk to your uploaded and reference documents using different AI models. And they provide different modes. You can talk to only uploaded documents, you can complement your queries with 200 million peer-reviewed papers. I don't know the source of that, but I suppose it comes from something similar to Google Scholar. And you can complement your answers with Google. And your research will be complemented with the sources, with cited sources. And we can see in the result the index of citation. So that is great. And what I like as well about FRI is that you can use your own key. I will show you that in a moment as well. So you can use virtually any AI model that you like. And as they position themselves as competitor to Zotero, they implemented the import from Zotero. And Zotero is your personal research assistant. Okay, so let's briefly take a look at the FRI. So first, you organize your research into library. Here I have uploaded few documents, few research papers about caffeine and its connection to dopamine release. Then we need to go to a research assistant, choose a library. And here we can ask different questions. And down below we can see we can choose different models. And you can use your custom model if we connect open router. So here you can use different models. There are a lot models to choose from. You can find anything you like here. Here we can see several different modes. And first let's use no tool at all. 
we can ask something like describe the connection between caffeine and dopamine release and if we hit send without any tool i believe you will get general large language model understanding of the topic in this case from ChatGPT. then we can select document retrieval it means that if we ask the same question we'll work with the uploaded documents in this case with these two let's ask the question one more time so we can see the answer being generated and this time we can see cited sources here it is the papers that were used and that i have connected we can click here can see the source we can click here and actually we can view the paper here to the left and another powerful feature is we can connect to google search and semantic score so let's ask the same question one more time and here we are getting the results of your research with citing different sources here are the sources which were used in this particular query for your research and we can see the numbers of references for that particular paper and the number of citations for that paper so you can use in your research top research papers so we can see the source of a particular paper well actually where we can find that particular paper so this feature was not available previously seven months ago so now it is a full-blown research helper what else do we have here we can view upload it and connect files and we can connect more files we need to go to library and upload a file and here we have different options you can upload file manually by url and let's check this one upload doi so here you can provide research paper identificator or id number and let's use doi for example you can find a particular paper like this one or this one and let's copy this url it is your doi id so you can paste it here it will try to find a pdf file will show if this id is valid and you can upload it from here right away but i have already uploaded this what else do we have here so there is a fri notebook where you can annotate your papers you can highlight different parts of your research paper in different colors you can highlight the area and then you can see the notes to the right so you can jump from the notes to actual documents and vice versa if we go back to the library you can click on the menu here and generate the citation if you're working on a new research paper for your work or study you can generate a citation and you can generate that in different styles it is really convenient well moving to the conclusion i think fri matured a lot since my previous review previously it was more like your ai companion where you can upload your files and in a convenient way you were able to talk to your files using ai and now it is a fully blown research helper you can upload documents using id formats popular in the research community you can generate citations it will make your life easier as a researcher and what i like probably the most about afri is the strong team which constantly pushes this tool forward and just an example here is another recent update from the founder of the tool just summarizing the features and one more time to reiterate to what afri is it has different parts you can use it as a reference manager organizing your research work 
it is your AI research assistant, which can complement your search with uploaded documents with 200 million papers and with Google search results. You can work with FRA as a notebook where you can annotate your research papers. Again, I think it is a great tool if research is your work, if you need to do a research for a study or you're just a hobbyist and would like to research a particular topic. So to get FRI, please check my link in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.